it's a huge honour. It's the hardest decision that I've ever had to make in my life. I'm going to be a San Francisco 49er. Look at Jared Hay running over people. Oh. Diving and catching and bubbling. Couldn't get any worse. The Olympics is, is, is really up there. If and when Jared's prepared to make the decision, we're more than happy to have that discussion. A pain plane looks more and more likely to land in Parramatta. And I've got a good relationship with Jared. I would love to have him back at the club. This is a very, very important day for the future of the Gold Coast Titans. Never thought I'd join another club. Something to look forward to, you know, excited about. Yes, he is back. Seabus Super Stadium is buzzing. The Gold Coast Titans preparing for the Warriors and this man, Hayne. The Hayne plane has landed. And the indication from Neil Henry, he'll be arriving on the field about half an hour into the contest. Scenes like this at Seabus Super Stadium haven't been seen for years. Close to a sellout. And I welcome to the coverage, Mark Gaznia, Kevy Walters once more. There he is, boys, and uh, we know he's achievement in rugby league thus far is the story we turn another page who plays the holdout here the titans johnson johnson short oh good tackle jared hayne how's that for a first tackle great read jared oh. hayne had to come in and make the tackle and did it so well mcdonald he puts the boot to it so they're coming through hayne's pursuing and jared hayne he's got one session all over it. Look at this catch. Bang into the arms and then look straight away for the offload. He's all class, Hayne. Two minutes in and he's done two fabulous things already. Well, he saved a try and almost set one up. Get out of the box. They go left to one of Hayne. Oh, Hayne nearly had the intercept. <laughs> oh. oh, gee, that was unlucky for Hayne. A brilliant first half. The Gold Coast, the Warriors. 10 all. But with Pete and this man, Hayne, on the field, they were six from nine. Taylor, one of those trio who has a shoulder problem. Mamalo is captured nicely. Well, Red Hayne. Hayne. Taken low by Tavanga. By Johnson. Oh, Hayne again. Upends. Johnson wins possession for the Titans. Great tackle. Short side, Hayne. Hayne takes them on. Quick pass. Back to Peets. Hayne. Puts a kick through. Will sit up? No. 20 metre restart for the Warriors. Chillington. Hayne. Hayne who's moved in for it. Puts the kick through. Was it played out? Lola here. It sits out, but Lola here has a second grab. Jared Hayne has never ever played here without having scored a try and I thought for a moment he's about to keep that in check not to say it can't still happen he's got a couple of doubles here as well now they've got the field position I'd like to see Jared Hayne get the ball off the two pass play have a good shot at the edges switches it back to Hayne Hayne goes deep but straight on the chest for Satua this will be some chase David for Satua Howell coming towards him he's got left Nene McDonald coming for Satua great chase Conrad Howell great it could be a play that saves the match. Johnson, back in field, Carter can't be stopped. Solomon Akata. Sends it quite shallow, so do they leave it for the Gold Coast? They do, the Warriors goes back to Hayne. Hayne puts it on the left foot. Mamalo. 
just in time. There's the, watch this, left foot from Hayne. More and more the ball is going to Hayne and he just sends up the towering bomb and it's got some hang time. Mamalo makes a meal of it. Dummies, Hayne, looks up. Taylor, Taylor, Hayne. Hayne to me. There's a take, Hayne. So can they have some fight here? Back inside, it goes to me. Taylor, he puts a kick through. Where's Hayne? Hayne coming through, but... Hoffman saw him coming, his former Blues teammate. Stop, lock on. And he set for it early, he went out there. You could see him pointing to the ground, Dash Taylor. There's the kickoff. It was brilliant, it was like a torpedo kickoff. Payne did even well just to catch it. And watch this, nice subtle hands just straightens. Gives Hoffman a chance. Back to Hayne, a bullet pass away. Jared Hayne goes deep and once again they rush up. The line of the Warriors look intact as Hayne goes short side, puts the kick through Don, coming through, Anthony Don! Anthony Don scores the try, Hayne gets the try assist. They go short side now again to Hayne, Hayne gets the pass away, Hull oh, forward, forward to Don. Yeah, definitely was forward. And Anthony Don just stayed up nice and flat. I think he wanted the face ball from Jared Hayne, but Hurrell was in the way. On it, boys. Great recognition from Jared Hayne to realise they were short down the short side and he played really straight, which allowed Hurrell. It was actually really good hands from Hurrell. The line goes to Hayne. Hayne cut out ball to Queen. They Time. The Warriors 24, the Gold Coast 14. Welcome back, big boy. How do you feel? Yeah, obviously, you know, I was going to be a bit uh, bruised and battered. Um, solid, you know, solid game and, um, you know, plenty to work on. A lot of minutes, a lot more than many thought. 50, how's the body feel? <laughs> exhausted or okay? Mate, exhausted, exhausted. So, you know, you can never uh, prepare, you know, for an NRL game. It's always, you know, just getting thrown out there, thrown in the deep and, um, you know, pretty much hanging on there and surviving. So, you know, uh, it was good to get the minutes under my belt and something that's going to help me in the long run. From Suncorp Stadium or ANZ Stadium to Levi's Stadium now to here to see bus, were there still nerves this morning? Uh, no, not really, you know, I know what to expect. And, um, I think the last 18 months, you know, I've, uh, I've um, you know, travelled a, a lot of mountains and, um, you know, I think to come back to something that, um, you know, I know what to expect. And, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter, you know, how I prepare. I always knew it was going to hurt and it was going to be tough just to, you know, survive and um, stay, for, stay on the field for that long. How do you rate your performance? Some really classy touches and your first involvement was a shot that any defensive end would have been proud of. Yeah, it was. Um, you know, you always want to have that perfect game and obviously, you know, that, that, that try that I kind of set up with, um, you know, throwing that ball to Ash. It's probably a planned move that me and me, me, me kind of had. And um, it was a late call by me. Um, so, you know, probably that, probably just, that's probably that, the, the one thing that, you know, lost me cool about. And I think that's just, you know, that's just game time. And, um, you know, the more I play for the guys, the better, you know, the better I'll be. What are your goals from here? Um, obviously just, you know, keep improving. Um, keep getting better each week. And, you know, solid, solid effort this week with, you know, 50 odd minutes. So, you know, I need to come back next week. Uh, be better and, um, you know, a big push for the finals. I think for most of us, good to have you back, buddy. Yeah, no, it was good. It's, it's, it's been great to be back. And, um, you know, I think it really, um, it was fun there to get a couple, you know, classy touches. And, um, you know, we, we probably gave it away at the end there, but, you know, something to work on. You're ready to lie down. I'll let you go. Yeah, cheers, mate. Thanks. Appreciate it, Andy.